the whole entire area, which is many, many miles across. Look at that. I mean, gee, more clear than that it can be. And look at this white picket fence made with some kind of material that nobody know what the heck is that. It's not a picture mistake or somebody fingerprint. Nah. That is in the picture because you can see the base of those things. They emit light. It's just that we just cannot comprehend this deal because our education is so freaking primitive. This cylindrical object is so enormous that it takes the entire picture. You see how it blends with the surface of the moon? It's right under it. I mean, barely, see that? And it continues there, look, and it continues, and it continues, oh my goodness. And it's right next to another bigger one, look at that. That huge ass one, like I say, they stick into the moon so cross like a knife into butter. Because they use electromagnetism. They can match the frequency of the material with any material. Be a volcano, the sun, the moon, planet, anywhere. They go anywhere with impunity. See, there's several cylindrical objects parked all over this picture. Look, there's another enormous, even bigger than that one right there. It has a, a, a gunmetal color, gray, dark grayish. It doesn't shine. And it has these, uh, these pore holes on the, all over the body. Right there, there's another one here. I mean, she, it's sad, man, the, the limited information that people have. Look at that, it continues right there. Look at that, right there. It's so big. The picture, it just takes the whole picture from one side to the other. You know, you see it's like part of it. So that's enormous that thing is. But then you see all these structures and support equipment. Look at that square thing, that, that, that cube looking thing. It looks like a cube. It's not, it's, it's just squarish with a tube on top and another, I mean, hard to describe. Then look at this thing right here. That looked like a craft right there. That. Check it out. That looked like a craft. See the edge is very shiny, but it's like oval shape and pointy on the right side. Hey, look at that. I mean, there's so many like that and other weird shapes. Look at that building. It takes reading, looking, studying methodically and with dedication. And it takes long time because these images have so much stuff. Like I said, you can spend easily six months studying this image and I tell you you will not even have enough time it's, it's, it's time consuming because it's so freaking convoluted look at that well those dark tubes those are cylindrical objects those this right there these are electromagnetic vehicles, the one that Dr. Begrun showed in the Rainmakers of Saturn conference and his book. 
I don't think he ever saw this image. And I wish I could talk to some investigator and open their eyes, their mind eyes. And have a serious good conversation. That Mike Bear wouldn't talk to me because I told him to show him stuff and oh, how long you been investigating for? Eight years. Oh my god, that's that's not yeah, but I have seen more shit than you have in fifty years. I don't know how long you've been doing this shit, but for the things that you say you just don't know shit. I mean you have a, a two dimensional mind. Did you see all these tubes in space and shit? You cannot think that space is empty and oh my God. Nah. I mean, look at this. this. This whole thing is just perfectly planned. I mean, a square, diagonal, all every type of geometry is here. And more. More!